Hi class, my name is Uche Martins. Welcome to Basic Science and Technology class. Today we'll be treating the topic Belt and Chain Drive Part 2 with the team Tools, Machines and Processes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe chain drives explain the principle of chain drives, state the advantages and disadvantages of chain drives. What is a drive mechanism? A drive mechanism has to do with transmitting of power or energy from one point to another. A drive mechanism is any process that involves transfer of mechanical power or energy from one point to another without any reduction in power. Belt and chain drives are two major classes of a drive mechanism. That means the classes of drive mechanism is belt and chain drives. What are chain drives? Chain drives are drives that make use of chains to transfer power or energy from an engine or from one point to another, especially between the wheels of vehicles. Now, this is an image showing a chain drive. It is made up of chains that are used in transferring of mechanical power from one point to another. Chain drives consist of an endless series of chains linked by a sprocket to transfer energy or power. This is a sprocket. Chain drives are made up of two major components, which are our chains and sprockets. The chains are made up of metals. Chain drives transfer power from one rotating sprocket or shaft to another. This is one sprocket, this is another sprocket. And they are rotating about their axis, transferring power or energy from one sprocket to another. This is a sprocket and this is a chain. We have two major sprockets. We have our driven sprocket and also our driving sprocket. Our driving sprocket is also called our driver sprocket. A driven sprocket is a sprocket where the power is taken to. You can see from this diagram, this is the driven sprocket. The power is taken to this sprocket, so it is called a driven sprocket. While a driving sprocket or a driver's pocket is where the power is taken from. From this diagram, the, this is a driver's pocket or a driving's pocket where the power is taken from. What are the applications of chain drives? Chain drives can be applied or used in machines, automobiles, and vehicles. What are the advantages of chain drives? Chain drives do not slip or trip like belt drive. There is no power loss due to slippage. Chain drives, unlike belt drives, can withstand attack from chemicals and can be operated in wet conditions. Chain drives are more efficient and works more effectively than bell drives. Chain drives can also withstand high temperature. Let's look at some disadvantages of chain drives. Number one, its cost of maintenance is high. That means the cost of replacing the chain when broken and also lubricating it and other forms of maintenance is very high. Another disadvantage of chain drive we must take note is that 
chain drive can cause noise pollution due to the vibration of the chains. That means it produces loud noise when it is being used. Number three, overloading can lead to the breaking of the chains. When chain drives are being overloaded, it easily breaks, unlike belt drive. In summary, chain drives are drives that make use of chains to transfer power energy from one point to another, especially between wheels of vehicles. Chain drives are made up of two major components, the chain and sprockets. Chain drives can be applied in machines, vehicles, and automobiles. Chain drives are more efficient and work more effectively than belt drives. Let's take some questions. Question 1. Chain drives can withstand higher dash than belt drives. A. Temperature. B. Loads. C. Power. D. Stress. The correct option is A. Temperatures. Question 2. Chain drives are applied in dash. A. Sewing machines. B. Grinding machines. C. Pulley systems. D. Vehicles. The correct option is D. Vehicles. We've come to the end of this class and we're able to know that chain drives is a form of drive mechanism that makes use of chain to transfer power from one point to another. Thank you and see you in our next class.